NCAA's and, and the history of being around it is a lot of it comes down to a one goal game or penalty kicks, as you said, and it's a uh, you know it's a very close game. That was a very close game, and you know going down to penalty kicks is this time of year. It's uh, who holds their nerve and who can come up with a big play, and uh, those these guys did it. Was really pleased to to score all the penalty kicks. We have trained for that, as I'm sure they have, and uh, but I mean that's a tough team to play. I mean. And their coach Aiden is uh, one of my best friends in the in the business. So it's uh, it's <clears throat> tough for one of us to go out. We talked about it right before the draw. Uh, we didn't know who was going to play each other, and then all of a sudden we got drawn against each other. So I got a text from him a minute later. So we're we're very very close. I got so much respect for him as a coach. He's an unbelievable guy. These the players on that team are very lucky to have him as a coach. So it's it's unfortunate that one of us had to go out. Questions for Coach Allison. Okay, um, Coach Allison, um, it got a little chippy there at some points. Um, how did you, um, as a coach, how did you tell your team to like, kind of like, you know, get you guys to calm down, focus on the game? They, they, they did it. We we've been in those scenarios before. These are these are games that some student athletes are could be in their last game, yeah. and so it's going to get that way. I mean, and the, you're playing for the the right to go to to Virginia and play one of the top teams in the country and get them up in the snow and get cold, you know, and, and, but our guys are so competitive as they are. And that's bound to happen in a sport that's an invasion sport that's a, that you can actually do that. It's going to get chippy. And if it doesn't, I mean, you're not competitive. And I don't think it was out of, out of fashion. I don't think it was out of unruly in any way. I think the ref handled it well. Both sets of players handled it well, uh, pulled them apart. In fact, I don't think any of the coaches said anything to the ref about that. I mean, it was, it was handled very well by the ref. And uh, I mean, the, the kids are competitive. It's going to overflow every once in a while in a game like that, that they can hit each other. But I thought for a game like that, that was a full game, two overtimes and penalty kicks. It, I mean, I've, we've been in worse <laughs> you know, as far as chippy games. But uh, I mean, I thought every student athlete handled himself very, very well. All right, um, you guys, um, both sides had a lot of chances in, in the regulation, but then, you know, he heading into on the penalty shootout or like overtime, um, you guys stayed compact defensively, mm -hmm. and in the end, um, you guys won the penalty shootout. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely, in each half was different because against the wind was very tough, so we played a little more defensively. We played with two sixes, uh, uh, and then and one attacking guy, and then in the, in the second half of that, uh, when we had the wind, we played pressing a little bit more and higher up. And they're a good team. I mean, they, they overload the middle, and they're, they're very, very talented through the middle, and they're very tough to play against. So, I mean, it, guys were exhausted out there, so I feel for them. I, f I hate that someone had to lose. Out of our kind of schools that we have, it's great to be in the NCAAs, and, uh, you know, both sets of players represented their teams and their schools very, very well tonight. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like you guys had something to, to prove tonight being a, a conference tournament champion, being forced to go on the road, having 13 wins. We're, we're used to it. We've, we've done it before. I've been there 24 years with this team, and, and we always get sent on the road, and that's okay. We actually like being on the road. We get some per diem every once in a while and all that stuff, and they eat food away from the dining hall. And it's, it's it, and I love being with these kids. Uh, the adventure is great, and, uh, and we're still going on, which is nice. And it's, it, I'm very fortunate to coach some incredible student athletes in, at Furman. I'm very, very pleased and proud of these kids. But, you know, it, the NCAAs are tough. It's a 90-minute season, well, sometimes 110 minutes, as you, as you saw tonight. But, you know, uh, you're in there with a chance to win. So why not? Jeremy Sullivan from uh, UNCW Athletics. What do you know about Virginia? And, uh, nothing. You... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, nothing, honestly. We, we told the guys and I told my coaching staff, let's focus on one game. Uh, you know, I've just got to find out how far away it is now and what time we leave tomorrow and all that stuff because, you know, uh, we, were, we didn't know where we were going to be if we were going home or, or here or, or going there. So now we start again uh, and we've got to get ready for two, three more days to, to play again. And uh, that's not easy as they've had a bye. Uh, but the way our guys have really conducted themselves and rose to a challenge over the last four or five games in elimination tournament games, really proud of these kids. Uh, they, they've done a great job, and it was, it's been a team effort. Different guys have stepped up. It's not just these guys. Uh, the guys have stepped up in the conference tournament final compared to the semifinal and the, the quarterfinal, and representing Furman the right way. I'm really, really proud of these kids. Uh, yeah, so we, um, we've actually kind of had our set penalty order for a while now, so I knew time come, when, that, when that time comes that, that I'm going to be ready to take that fifth penalty. So, 
you know, Doug, Coach Doug has confidence in me. The rest of the guys have confidence in me. So when I stepped to take that penalty, I took one deep breath, let it out, and I just put it where I need to put it. And, you know, I just no better feeling than when winning the game there. So I'm just happy to do it. And big save by this man right here. Yeah. Okay. So to you, Ben, um, you had the one save from Wilhelm Joshua's penalty. Um, How did you feel you know, after making that save? Did you feel that you guys were going to go on to win the game? That this was like your time to shine, basically? Uh, well, I certainly felt good after making the save, but you know, I just, I just felt that I'd given the team a chance. So you know, that's all they asked for me. So, you know, when he stepped up, I just read his body language and I tried to read him the whole way and um, pushed as far as I could to my right, made the save, and felt really good after that. And I knew that w with that, we'd have a better chance of going on. And you know, fortunately, we did. And two of the most offensive teams in the country, and it comes down to a defensive. <laughs> defensive game. I'm Alex Riley. Um, just, I mean, what does it say that at this time of year it, it comes down to who can make those plays at the, at the critical time like this? Well, yeah, like I said, it's just what the team asked of me. So, you know, we've been training for so long and I, we train certain scenarios like that, um, PKs all the time and breakaways. Like the, I had one safe tonight and it was, it, was, it was basically a breakaway. So we train those scenarios over and over. And so when it comes down to these times, you know, that's when you hope that your training has paid off. and. Tonight it has, so. Is it hard to get in this mindset? Because this is the only time of year when PKs are a thing. In the, in the regular season, it's, it's not an issue. And then all of a sudden, the postseason shows up and you got to start hitting them. I mean, how hard is it as a guy who's taking those to get in that mindset? Uh, you know, I mean, kind of like Ben said, I'll just reiterate, it's, you know, it's knowing what you got to do in the moment. So you just got to have the confidence in yourself. You got to, you know, you know, the guys have confidence in you. So if you have confidence in yourself and you know exactly where you're going to put it and, and you know that you're going to, you're going to score yours, you know, and that other people are going to give you a chance to make that big play to win the game. It's just, just all confidence all the way around and, and, and just preparation and preparation and preparation. We do it every day. So, you know, we can do it in the big games.